bring it down. Give me your best fuck answer face. Yep. Sorry. It's <laughs> 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 In terms of like just nerves and how you feeling? In all honesty, man, not even a little bit nervous. I mean, Katie's posted numerous times that uh, <laughs> we've already lived out our vows and then some. One sec. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Um, I think when they told us that we had to push the wedding back, I felt like I wasn't in control. You know, it's our moment. It's not conventional. Nothing about us clearly is conventional. So, you know, just making it our own. I'm anxious, you know, I'm ready to kind of get in there and get it done and officially call her, you know, my wife and start building a life, so. Again, like nothing feels like it's in your control except for when you can decide to do this and we're doing it our way. Um, it can be me. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, you too. Bye. Nothing like getting flowers at um, 9.30 for your, on your wedding day. <laughs> We're prepared. Well, this is the original wedding date, so June 9th was what we planned on. That got derailed. So, we're still getting married today, but we'll all, all of us, be in Charleston in October for the big wedding. So, you're the Let's courthouse. Tell them, you literally have to wait in line or you have an appointment. It won't take minutes. So, so there's like 20 people that. So, basically, what they say is as long as you're there a half an hour before they close, so they close at four. I'm coming to take the seat out. Oh, sorry. Don't. Don't kiss me again. Save it for outside. Save it. <laughs> Save it for outside, brother. All right. We're going to exchange very personalized I do's from someone that we have no idea who it is. <laughs> like every bride wants to, um, we have to go get laser beams shot in her head, her bald head. That's why I have this hairdo. On March 28th, just a normal Tuesday, getting ready for work. I happened to be drying my hair. I was trying to look fresh and clean for work. I leave for the office. I get this text. She had, she had passed out. Typically, I would say drink some water, take a nap. You're fine, um, being the amazing big sister that I am. And she initially thought that maybe I just was like itching for attention, but then she says that she saw me and she knew that something wasn't right. So Jenny went and got her. Took her, to the, took her to the ER at Northwestern. Sat there and for almost three hours in the emergency room and watched Maury Povich's show. You know, paternity tests. It's what not, the, the baby is not yours. They did the CT scan and we were waiting for those results. Um, and that's when I thought maybe I would leave and come back and get them. Or I think I actually said, just take an Uber home and I'll see you at home. <laughs> Fast forward six hours. Post CT, find a dark spot, now post MRI, it's a brain tumor. They said, you're having brain surgery at 6.30 a.m. on Thursday, and that was it. That's it, I mean, I want, to, I want more. That's it. More tears. It's hot in here. She had the tumor removed uh, March 30th. You know, people joked my birthday was March 29th. I mean, the guy spent his 33rd birthday <laughs> sitting on a red biohazard trash can 
at Northwestern eating rainbow cake. Look at that happy birthday boy. And people said, you know, happy birthday to you. And I, it is 100% because because that surgery and that seizure kept her here for today. only three words to describe Katie. What three words would you use? Beautiful. Not just from a physical appearance, from, you know, inside and out, truly. Brave. And loyal. Could you tell me what your favorite thing about your sister is? Oh, gosh. We don't have enough film for this. Wedding. I pitted the phone. The first day I was going for treatments, he, he sent a message and he said, go and get your protons, cakes, I love ya. <laughs> There's like this direct link to laughter and it just opens the floodgates to pee. Put your glasses on until you look like dorks. You want me to get out my, you want me to get out my water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like Katie. I want to be like Katie. We both can pee so that we don't pee our pants and then walk out of the bathroom and laugh and pee. And I don't know where it comes from. What are your favorite traits about her? Like, what do you love about her? So I uh, actually had this conversation yesterday with someone. Um, she has a, a huge heart. Um, you know, going through... Man, going through everything that we've gone through over the last, you know, almost three months now, one of the big things, I sat and asked myself if I was going through the same situation, would I have the same impact and the same reach that she's had? I don't know anybody that doesn't think that he's like the easiest person to be around. He's funny. I mean, he's just like, he's at ease with himself. I didn't really want any additions to my life, like to fill a void. I wanted somebody to bring their own, their own amazingness to it, which he did. Had to have somebody that I could just drop in the middle of a party and never worry about them. And that is Brogan. I mean, he's just a great little baby. <laughs> he's so young. I mean, the kid was born in like 80, 84. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> well, he's dashingly handsome. That's, that's obvious to the naked eye. Yeah, exactly. They're always um, planning, planning the next meal. So up this morning, and that's what he said. What are we gonna do about lunch? Are you kidding me? I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do about lunch. Yes. Uh, nine fourteen. Thank you. When are you gonna tell them all of our parents afterwards? So no parents know about this yet. Mm -mm. Nobody knows. Two boys in church. What? But we're not going to church. I think, uh, Katie needs them. Katie? Yeah. I got scissors. Thanks. Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> we were having an a sit-down dinner. We had a very, very direct conversation, more brought up by her, but I'm glad she did because I had stuff on, on my mind too. And, you know, she looked at me dead face and said, Are you going to buck up and, like, be ready for this, or are you just going to coast through this relationship? 
That is a Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, KO punch to below the waist. I think the next day, like, everything clicked with him, and it just was, everything was easy. And this is the moment where I was 100% sold that this is who I want to be with. I think it just kind of made sense when we laid all of our cards on the table and said, this is either gonna work right now today or it's not gonna work at all. Four months later, we were engaged. The few people that know that we're getting married today have asked, you know, are you guys saying your vows? Are you, you know, is it gonna be personal? And I mean, there's really no reason to say vows. Like the last two months, three months of our life have been like living out any vows that you could come up with. When Katie went into the hospital, I was ready to do it that day. So since, since then I have worn a rubber wedding band to this point as a placeholder, right? I mean, it's kind of been my commitment to her throughout this whole process. She didn't ask me to do it. It's just something that, you know, I wanted to do. Girl, we got a wedding to go to at the courthouse. I don't know if you heard. Yeah. But Team KBC is on their this. way. Ready? We're ready. Brogan, do you take Catherine to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love, honor, and keep her through health, sickness, and prosperity, whatever your future might be? I do. Catherine, do you take Brogan to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in the state of matrimony, whatever your future might be? I do. Why don't you give them the wedding rings? Just think of something funny. Like how tight my pants are. Just think of it. You'll laugh. Brogan, why don't you start? Okay. Honey, we've lived our vows out for the past three months. Yep. There's nobody I'd rather spend the rest of my life walking alongside. We know we can get past any speed bump that's thrown at us along the way. I love you so much. I can't wait to start our life. With this ring, I promise to not have another brain tumor. <laughs> I, I would like that. You. Stay with me. May you always go through life loving and trusting each other. By the power vested in me by the Constitution, I now pronounce you, everybody's going to help me, husband and wife. Congratulations. You may kiss the bride. always had great friends and I've always been known that I had great friends and been blessed with great friends. I mean, all of my different aspects of my life have meshed together into this one huge army of, my God, like, they're just, they're, they're soldiers, you know? Jenny was carrying around my phone for two weeks. She looked like Ari from Entourage, like answering my emails. All of a sudden she became a real estate agent. You know, everybody's life just hit pause. But she's had everybody's back anytime they've needed her in the past. So 
everybody turned around and stepped up to the plate for her. So we had approximately 1,200 people stepping up to the plate all at the same time, which was a little overwhelming. We were surrounded by uh, tons of people in the hospital. So there's no way any one of us could have gotten through it. It's, it's truly profound knowing that, you know, outside of family and close friends, you're navigating this nightmare with a true army behind you. Katie, this is your tumor. Katie, this is your tumor at OIM. Ah! Yes, I am your father. You better. You better. Love you. Love you, Katie. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yay. Yay. You got this. Got this. Rubs. Oh, got road. this, bro. We love you guys. Katie Bishop, Jenny McCarthy here, and hell no, you are not done here. Go, Katie, go! Hey, hey Chicago, what do you say? Katie's gonna win today. Go, Katie, go. Go, Katie, go. Are you seeing me, kicks? You got this. Roar! I love you, and you're kicking ass, and you've got an amazing support system. <laughs> I think I too am probably the most blown away by all of it. It goes to show the type of people that both she and I have allowed into our circle. It also shows like what kind of life we've all led, you know? That's why people love Brogan, that's why people love my sister. Kind of like a, a unit, you know? Has this like changed your outlook? Is this like, how has it changed you? The outlook has shifted for everything. Like lots of things aren't important. Work isn't important. Making money is trivial. Most of the shit is not that important anymore. Shaving your head is a sign of bravery. It's not a sign of weakness. We've quickly learned that you can only make so many plans. It's somebody else is in control. <laughs> he was like, uh, not to be mean, but no trespassing is no trespassing. I own the building. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> oh, I'm the sister. That, that's the bride. Oh, he's coming back. Is that oh. him? She wants yeah. to say, this is my wife. She's going to say congratulations. Yeah. Oh, no, it isn't. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. She <laughs> said you look beautiful. Thank you. The movement that she has created is a testament to just who she is as a person, you know, and it's a lot behind the scenes that nobody knows about, you know, helping fund a kid's schooling over in, you know, sub-Saharan Africa, raising money for, you know, childhood cancers. I'm so honored, proud to marry her because it makes me feel like a much larger person than I've felt in, a, you know, in probably my entire life. He's amazing. I'm gonna now walk side by side through life with somebody who I know is going to make the world a better place. I can say it. <laughs> um, no, I just, I'm just, I'm just so lucky. I'm, I think I'm the luckiest person. And I don't, I don't care. I don't ask the questions of, like, why did this happen to me? Why didn't it happen to anyone else? I guess maybe I'm glad that it happened to me because, I mean, this, like, amount of support and having the family that I do and friends and work people that, again, have helped with showings and clients and whatnot, but having Brogan has been the best part of all of this.
kind of taken the the mentality of let's live for what's in front of us today. Let's appreciate what we have. And if tomorrow comes, we'll do it all over again.